Are you feeling back to normal? There's something new at RAF Lake and Heath. It's the reduced oxygen breathing device and hypoxia familiarization trainer. So the entire purpose of this training is just so that the air crew will experience hypoxia, be able to recognize those symptoms, and then implement the appropriate strategies for their aircraft to recover from it. We're having them sit here, we're having them fly this simulator, and it is inducing him hypoxia, having that lack of oxygen in their bloodstream, which can cause impairment. Air crew members are exposed to this change while flying the hypoxia familiarization trainer, making it more realistic and comparable to how they would encounter their hypoxia while flying. Some of the different symptoms that we see out there, uh, a lot of times the people seem to be almost gasping for breath, it's called air hunger. Um, some people get really euphoric and happy and that's one of the problems with hypoxia is that you feel good when you're hypoxic, so you don't realize how dangerous it is until potentially it's too late and you have a mishap. The ROBD, HFT, has several advantages over the altitude chamber. In the altitude chamber, uh, okay. where the effects on decreased pressure are felt through our entire body, uh, and that can have some dangerous effects, uh, particularly uh, on your sinuses uh, and your gastrointestinal system. Uh, in the ROBD, we are able to see the same effects of hypoxia, uh, but without the additional side effects on our entire body. With the ROBD HFT located here at RAF Lakenhe, the Air Force saves over $100,000 and over 94 man days a year. For RAF Lake and Heath, I'm Airman First Class, Aaron Mills.